it feels so good to make these stacks of 16 prison of splash potions of healing. I am never gonna die unless I, you know, derp off a ledge or something. But this will, yeah, definitely help me not die from mobs, basically. Oh yeah, all those. Oh yeah. I'll save them for later. I'll, I'll finish this small stack off before I waste these beauties. Okay, so I'm I made this Smite 5 on Breaking 3 Sword with my, like, 19 levels or whatever. So that's gonna be an epic, uh, yeah, replacement to this one, I guess. And when I have enough levels, I'll put the Protection 4 on one of these helmets. Uh, where's that Protection 4? Uh, there we go. And yeah, it, it keeps the Unbreaking 5. So I'll have a Protection 4, Unbreaking 5 Diamond Helmet. That's just, it's amazing. I'll, yeah, I gotta, I need, like, 19 levels for it, though. I started up my farm. Look at that. Look at, yeah, that's friggin' beast efficiency. It's like never gonna grow actually because of no water. Hmm. Uh, but I guess I am ready to uh, take on whatever challenges await Rage Piglet Citadel. Smite Five Sword is gonna help a lot with those piglets or the pigmen. I guess I have this Smite Sign, but actually. Eh. Yeah, I might actually just not want it. I'll put the sign away, because <laughs> this sword is actually much better than the sign, so... Well, not much better, but, you know, it's better. <laughs> so I'll save the sign for later. I want to put the hoe away, I guess. <laughs> and then I guess I'll be ready for Rage Piglet Citadel. <laughs> I'm not going to like this place, am I? Red wool. Okay, so this is the second to last area. Finally. Uh, do, do. do I have to dig? They're back. Oink. Oh, I get it. Yeah, I have to. Ladder. Uh, natural spawns. Uh, meh. I got Smite 5. I can take these, uh, these guys on. Actually, there's a spawner there I really want to take care of before I do anything, but he's an unaggressive pigman, so no biggie. Yeah, oops. Wanted to shoot the creeper, but I guess not. Saves me the trouble of hitting him myself. Yeah, the one thing to keep in mind, too, with these pigmen, they spawn in any light level. So that's not going to be fun when they can just spawn after I torch them up. It's basically like a potion stacked spawn or two. Those are so annoying. Now I'm gonna run out of food, aren't I? Hopefully I get lots of zombie flesh from this area. From the zombie pigmen. Oh, hello. That's... That's, inter that's interesting. Yeah. So it is a castle, basically. Alright, where's your spawner? I guess I don't really care at the moment until I hit one of you. But for now, I guess I just want to rush past these. My Feather Falling 4 boots are almost gone, and I know it takes like quite a few levels to repair those. I pro probably could right now, but I don't want to head back. And I really like Feather Falling 4, even though it's got like no other enchantments on them. So I want to keep those. So far, nothing but natural spawns. Which can be easily taken care of with a spike with my five. Alright, those guys those guys are fighting. Creepers are no big deal. Even even though I only have smite five because uh, they just blow blow themselves up. <laughs> and I have a bow anyway if I really need to take care of a threatening creeper. Yeah, okay, so they're just fighting. Alright, let's tackle this castle. Ooh, look, I can see through the world to the end of the map. So he used a flatland world, basically, with just grass and dirt as a uh, base. Oh, hello, I want to take you out. Okay, so the spawn delays aren't that short at the initial spawn delay, so if I can just reach the spawner in time, should be able to just take out the spawners. Easy. But if I don't see a spawner and I get in range of it, then that's that's when it becomes a problem. See, like that. 
Okay, I'm ready for all the pigment in the world to aggro on me. Rage piglet. So that's what they're called. Is there anything over there? No? Okay. Smite 5. Smite 5 is only a 2 hit. So it shouldn't be too bad. I got a lot of knockback, as would be expected of pigmen. That's how you nerf pigmen, you give them knockback. So even though they do a lot of damage, it, they're not going to be able to like stack damage like crazy on you by not knocking you back. Dawn of Rage. Dwarf Madlax. Junk. Junk storage. Yeah. Some enchantment table would be nice. Well, actually, eh. I want one one enchantment table at base just for like level one enchantments, I guess. That'd be nice. Anything behind these paintings? Can't break them for some reason. I heard that. I'm spawning skeletons. Or not. Maybe it just fell somewhere. Oh, yep. Yeah, cool. Oh, here we go. Here's flame piglets. I got blaze rods. And I can hear that that there's tons of them upstairs, apparently. You can hear them go, go nuts. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to block off that corridor because I'm aggroing some spawner over there. Oops. I think their hitboxes are a little high for, uh, because they're babies. Block that off so I can get to this spawner without aggroing anyone down there. And also so I can loot. <laughs> Here we go. Here's intersection 5 loot. Much better. Eh, I don't really want looting that much. Blast protection. There's something I want. Okay. Diamond boots. How to miss those. <laughs> There we go. Now, if only you would just give me some food! Yeah. More... More, uh, lore, I guess. Not much of a lore person in Minecraft maps. Ow. That's why piglets are annoying, they're freaking reach. If I can rush this, come on. Yes! They're gonna fall on me, aren't they? Oh wait, it's fenced off, so that's fine. Is this the beginning? Oh, it's the beginning. Ah, oh, okay. So I missed the, uh... <laughs> Where I'm supposed to be going. Okay, I mean, I'm sure I could just dig up and like find my way through the walls and everything to where I should be going. But let's take the fun path for a minute. Can I get to you? Yes. And this is this is also why uh, efficiency or or a really high efficiency diamond pickaxe comes ha comes in handy. Because he can rush spawners, yes. And these are trapped chests, so be careful. Yeah, they should be safe now. Oh yeah, one of these death traps. Eh, might as well keep it. Cooked pork chop. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. Actually, better better than mine because I have infinity. So screw you. I'm, I'm waiting on making my power 5 infinity bow, just because I don't really need all these arrows, do I? An infinity bow, what am I doing? And I will have a power 5 infinity bow eventually, because I have the books for it, so... Although I don't have a... Eh, I can just make a full bow, and I need... Whoa, hello. Wow, 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 wow. I need fire protection. I have, uh, I just now grabbed a fire protection for a book, so I might want to go back and do some enchanting. I got 23 levels, not bad, but kind of want more. When I run out of food, I'll go back, actually, I should pro probably grab these pork chops. Uh, where did they come from? They must have came from the, uh, entrance there. kind of want to have full HP for them, though. I guess I have stacked potions for healing, so it's not that big a deal if I go in with a low HP. Yes, I have an infinity bow. I have an excuse to shoot my bow more. Finally. Oh. No, you don't. No, you don't. So they are falling down. 
They must have jump boost or something. Potions of healing at the ready, unless I... Just in case I get surprised. Uh, so they're jumping down. I wonder, should I just block up to the next level just to see if I can take care of the spawner or whatever's causing them? Up here. And then if I need to, I can make a parkour jump over the fence to make an escape. Okay, so there's a, a skeleton spawner, which might be causing me problems. Looks like I can hit them without them being able to hit me from here. I'm liking this bow. Okay. I don't want you to be bothering me. Alright, let's take out this spawner. And then make sure I have an escape. Parkour jump. So that mobs can't follow me. Is that all that's here? Or is there like a spawner up there? Actually, I want to block that off. There we go. It's a nice little safe bubble. Oh, it's a chest. Nice. Oh, it's got something on top of it, doesn't it? So if I could just... What is that? Is that, is that diamond? Probably diamond, actually. I, I saw the uh, breaking particles, and it looked like it was diamond. So if I could... Did I bring my fortune pickaxe? No, I didn't. Uh, kind of don't want to mine it, because <laughs> of I don't have the fortune pickaxe. But what am I going to use diamonds for, anyway? How do I open... Oh yeah, I just break the chest, duh. So I get the contents without breaking whatever's on top. That was a trapped chest. But why is it trapped? There's nothing below it to to uh, get blown up. Okay, so now I'm guaranteeing that I get all the contents without breaking the top block. Ooh, wow. <laughs> That's a full chest. I don't want that. It's not bad. Don't really want arrows much anymore. Plenty of swords now. And it's one torch. Don't really want some flex protection for that's good. Uh, oh, I have bread. What am I doing? Eating a steak. Don't want the trap chest. Is that it? Yeah, I think that was it. Okay, so I got the contents of the chest without having to break the top block and wasting the diamond that I might get like four diamonds out of. I have fortune three. So that was good. Where'd I get, the, where'd I get this bread? <laughs> was that part of the chest? I don't remember bringing bread. Yeah, I can't complain. Actually, I'm gonna take you out before I go for that spawner, try to get out of range. See if thorns. Seriously? <sighs> put thorn on, thorns on everything. Well, I guess you haven't put thorns on anything recently, I guess, so. Eh. So what's this say? Next level access over there? Okay. Good to know, although I don't really trust you. And I could just block up anyway. <laughs> if I really wanted to get to the next next floor, it's probably safer to block up than to go by any uh, freaking paths you suggest, sir. Actually, I want every bit of XP I can get. So I can put all this protection stuff on my armor. And I assume this is where I'm going to get the majority of the diamonds on the map in this area, unless it's in the Blackwell area. So, if I get full suit of diamond armor... Oh, I see that pigman spawner. That looks sketchy, so... Is there anything? I, yeah, I'm spawning some piglets. Okay, so the best way to deal with these pigmen, I guess, is to take the first hit and at the same time hit them with the Smite 5 sword. And then I'll be far enough away to be safe to to uh, shoot arrows at him. That seems to be a good strategy here. But what I want to do now is to take out whatever spawner's down there. And taking a spawner on head, a uh, spawner like one of these spawners head on is sketchy. So I want to take him out safety. All right, where's that spawner? There it is. Hey, eh. got it. Yeah, see, there's a bunch of diamond 
ores in around, so I want to get my fortune three pickaxe to take to pick them up. So I want to know where they are for when I come back. But is it safe to rush that spawner? Go 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 go! Please respond! Please respond! Please respond! Yes. I assume he was a beefed up pigman spawner, so I really wanted to take care of that quickly because it was guarding all this diamond. Oh, and there's probably blazes down there, isn't it? Or up there, maybe. I don't know. Okay. Fire charge, not anything too special. Ooh, food. Uh, but then my one steak, although... Eh. I want these for when I do my chanting. I don't really want all these diamond swords, do I? Or iron swords. Sharpness 2, smart 1. It's better than that. Don't really want that. Not that great. Alright. So I should probably head back to base now. And you know, sort out sort out the loots and come back with a fortune three pickaxe so I can get lots of diamonds. Make myself full full beefed out diamond gear. That's the plan, I guess. Alright. This citadel, so so far, it doesn't seem that hard. I don't have the best gear, and I'm and I'm just kind of going through it like it's not. Yeah, I haven't died yet. I guess is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Piglets aren't too threatening if you know how to deal with them. Although I'm scared of the beefed out pigmen spawner that that was that was there. To be, to be a mob that's difficult enough to be. Uh, to guard all that diamond. I'm guessing that it's a pretty difficult mob. I can see the diamond blocks up there, by the way, so I know that I'm gonna get lots of diamonds soon. Ooh. Yeah, there's probably blaze spawners all over this place. Okay. I do want to safe up this corridor more, because I left it really dark. And I want to be uh, able to come back and forth through here without too much worries. Doo -doo -doo. Just kind of been ignoring all these mobs, haven't I? Because why waste the durability of my Smite 5 sword? I guess it does have Unbreaking 3 on it, but Unbreaking 3 swords don't last forever. No, Unbreaking 5 swords, those guys. <laughs> yeah, if, if you have a good enough sword on Unbreaking 5, it'll, it'll basically last you a whole map if you don't use it too often. Like, if it's a Smite 7 Diamond Sword Unbreaking 5, that beast is gonna last you quite a while, because it only it one-hits natural spawning mobs, basically. So it only uses one durability on each mob, and it's got Unbreaking 5, so it's gonna last much longer than any kind of, uh, like, normal sword, but, yeah. They're back, oink, and they're not that bad. <laughs> I remember the, the piglets from... Uh, lost my train of thought. Un Uncharted Territory 3, 2 being much tougher, probably because they were earlier in the map. And these are later in the map, and I have all this beefed out gear, or I will have as soon as I get my fortune pick. Where's my fortune pick? There you are. Fortune 4, actually. So that's better than a vanilla fortune pick. Although I, I could put Fortune 3 on this, I have a book for it, but I don't want to waste the uh, enchantment cost, basically, that I want to keep low on my diamond pickaxe, because I know I'm going to repair it eventually. Or I probably will, will. I might have this for the rest of the map, so I might actually not need to repair it again. But yeah, I just want to keep that uh, just unbreaking and efficiency. So I want to keep that as a spare, and I want to put protection four on a unbreaking five diamond helmet. So this is going to be like the best helmet you could ever ask for. See, it keeps the unbreaking five, even though it's not a vanilla enchantment. I, I guess they might have changed that, or maybe it was just that way the whole time, and I just didn't know. But I do want fire protection. Fire protection, fire protection, there we go. And I guess there's boots in here. My boots are gone, so being that's a good good uh, idea to replace them with the diamond boots that I forgot. There they are. I'm sure I have the levels for this. Yeah. 
There we go. This isn't bad for now. That could be could use replacing after I get the diamonds from this fortune pick. I just why do I do that? Blast protection. That might be something I want to put on the diamond legs, because blast protection can be a lifesaver. This I'd rather have a stack than a single energy drink. And is that it? That's all I want to uh, accomplish here at base. Actually, I could use more food. Do I have any extra food? No. Where did I put the pork chops that I had? Or, there we are. <laughs> I got like five different foods because I have no good stack of any of them. Maybe if I combine efficiency with fortune... Yeah, if I combine that, it would probably be downgraded to fortune 3 because of the vanilla enchantment cap. Fancy words. Oh yeah, torches. I could use more torches. Oops. I want full stack of torches extra. There we go. And just keep those on me. Uh, do I want to do any more enchantment? Uh, I kind of wait. I want to wait till I have my uh, diamonds for more enchantments. So, uh, arrow. I need an arrow for my infinity bow. There we go. Alright. We need for my diamonds. More blocks. I'll get blocks there, I guess, if I need any. No, I haven't been blocking all that much. So. And of course, I can just dig out anywhere for blocks with my efficiency 4 diamond pickaxe. Which I got. I, I'm so lucky I got that on my level 30 I put on it. It's been helping so much with the, the rushing spawners and stuff. Rush diamond. Eh, whoops. Whatever. Actually, I don't have feather falling anymore, do I? So I want to be careful about my falls.